Hello, my dear friends, little children, how are you? Fine, yes. Now, let me ask you some questions. What do you do at home? What do you do at home? Yes, you, you read, you read, isn't it, at home? Yourself, you write, you do, you, what do you, what do you do? You, you do your exercise, homework, yes. Yourself, you get milk from the market, yes, yeah. Yourself, you collect water eh, from a tap. Very good. So you collect water, you get milk, you read, you write, then you speak to, you, you, you speak, speak uh, to your friends, isn't it? Mobiling. Yeah, that's it. Then you eat, right? You play, you pray, you pray, isn't it? Lots of things that you do. See? Now these are your what we must say, your, your abilities. You climb the wall, isn't it? You remember sometimes, what do you do? You climb uh, your terrace and uh, you do, what do you do during uh, Deepavali? Well, suppose Deepavali is, you are celebrating Deepavali, Deepavali, then what do you do? You light Chirat, you know. Yes. So you do that, you climb. You go to the terrace and do these things, isn't it? Suppose there is no water supply, then what will you do? You go and draw water from the well, right? Yes. Suppose you find your grandfather is sick, what will you do? You help him, see? So you do a lot of things. These are your abilities. In English, there are two words. You can say, you did not say that, eh? Like this, I have the ability to draw water from the bell. I have the ability to read newspaper. I have the ability to help my grandfather. I have the ability to get milk from the market. I have the ability to cut vegetables in the kitchen. I have the ability to climb the terrace. I have the ability to light the chira. I have the ability to put on the light. You need not say like that. Instead of we can say, can. That is it, can. You can say, I can cut vegetables, I can collect milk, I, I can get milk, I can collect water, I can read and write, I can speak to my friend, I can climb the terrace, I can... What else? <laughs> you, you did. Yes? I can draw pictures, I can read newspaper to my grandfather because he has some problem with his eyes. Therefore, you go near that. So, I can do a lot of things. So, can is a word in English, symbol. symbol. Can. What does can? Can is a word in English that tells you your ability. What you can do? Your ability. See that? Yeah, no, I have the ability to read newspaper. Yes, sir. I can read newspaper. I can read. I can read. I can go. I can jump. I can run. I can draw. I can see as your abilities. Understand that? Now, what you do is you use can plus the bare infinitive. See? Go. And you say he also the same thing. He can go. No change. Like will go. Absolutely no change. I can go, you can go, he, uh, she can go, it can go, he can go, you can go, we can go, they can go, see that? boys can go, girls can go, father and mother can go, people can go, crowd can go, a crowd can go, then what else? Monkeys can go, then birds can fly, yes, can go to another word, no? Birds can fly. Can plus fly. You understand, no? This word, after coming, the verb that comes after, after the, after can, is not a full verb. It is an infinitive without two. 
the last class you remember I told you, no? infinitive appears in two ways. One is to form, to go. The other is just to go. Then when it is followed by, when it is used after can or will or shall. See that? Got the point? Yes. So your ability. Very important, no? Because when you go home this evening, he can say, uh, you, how do you call your father? Daddy or Appa or Mummy? <laughs> mother is called Mummy, no? yes. Or Mother. So you can say, uh, Daddy, I can draw a picture. I can color a picture. You can show this. Daddy, I can climb the uh, terrace and do this. You can say, like that. I can do it. So that is a great thing, no? You can, your ability, you are saying. So that gives you some kind of what we must say, uh, a boost. No? It is like a drinking boost, <laughs> eating boost. I can do it. It's a confidence, I can do it. I can do it, he can do it, she can do it. So the point of the moment is there is no change according to this subject. I, I can say, I, then you, the he, she, it, we, you, they, all can go, can fly, can eat like this. Remember this, if you can remember now, otherwise we, I will come back to this again for the time being since we know what uh, bare infinity is. So uh, we can just think like that, otherwise just say, uh, uh, the first form of the verb or something like that, you can think, can go, can fly, etc. Understand? It has a past form and that is could. Could. If you want to express something that you did yesterday, you could. You can say, I could do that yesterday. Same thing, I could do, I could go. I could go. My, my teacher asked me to go and get some chalk from the staff room. I could do it. I could go and get it yesterday. You can say that. Understand? And negative is very simple. Can plus not. Can plus not. And that is cannot. Double N. And you can shorten this as usual. Uh, can not. No? Cannot. So you can shorten this. N and O you can remove, and then you can say, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, that's the negative. So here you, you can drop two, one N and one O. So the, if you write the whole thing, you say, I cannot, double N. Can't, normally, whenever we speak, we will say, can't do it, I can't do it. Can you do it? I can't do it. But we will not say I can do it. I can't do it. <laughs> yes. And could also same thing. Negative is could plus not. And when this is removed, you should say C O U L D N apostrophe T. Couldn't. I couldn't do it yesterday. My father asked me to jump into a well to get to take something, some toy. I couldn't do it. I am small boy. I couldn't do it. Yes. I couldn't climb a tree. Somebody asked me to climb the tree because his kite is on the, on the tree. Somewhere it is uh, say in some branches. And then he said, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. How can I do it? Simple, uh, very difficult. No? It's a tall tree. I cannot do it. Couldn't do it. Understand? So, can and could. Can is present, could is past. They express ability, your ability. And not can be added to this. There are two parts, two members you can say. First member is always can. The past always could. Second member is a verb, but it, is, it never changes. Both this, don't say he can. Don't, don't say that. No change, it's so very simple, very easy. This is what I told you, know, English is very sweet language. It's okay, yeah. So you should understand that. Right? So what you must do is, 
Today you just go home and say make hundred sentences with the can. One or two sentences with the can't. But make hundred sentences. I can go, I can eat, I can lift a, lift a weight, I can move the chair, I can I can spread the bed cover, I can take the pillow, I can put on the light, I can what else? I can put on the fan, I can but write, I can dance, I can sim, sing, I can swim, I can... What I can do? <laughs> Walk, talk, all those things. Understand? You like it very much, you know, this can, this will... No change, according to the subject, we don't change. So it is a very nice, simple, very simple, but it expresses a lot of things about you, you know. You want to say, you know what is the most important part, the most interesting subject in the world? Speaking about you. <laughs> So that you speak about you, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Now at times he says, I can't do this. Or he says, I couldn't do this. Understand? Simple? Clear? Fine? You can laugh today? Yes, no problem. This, mostly it is used, you can just go on speaking now. So speaking English is a, is a thrill for all of us. Because we are learning it as a second language. Right? So, wishing you all the